Hello there, hunters. Hello indeed, as I adjust my microphone for you guys. So I figured I would record you guys uh, a video talking about the new focus mode in Monster Hunter Wilds. This was the first actual trailer of the game and they showcased some of the movesets of the weapons and I wanted to go into more detail about this since there's been a lot of discussion about what this actually is and how it functions in the game and I've actually had a full-on reddit discussion about this and for the most part people seem to agree with my view on it and how it actually works and I want to kind of give you those ideas so we'll go through this pretty slowly um, probably just use frame by frame uh, here and stuff like that so don't expect us to go through this fast or anything um, I guess I can show it to you first the section that we are going to talk about and then we'll go back and kind of rewatch it and stuff so we'll start start off from here and I'll pause it when it's actually going to end so All of these moves that we see here, we're going to discuss about even this heavy bowgun move and this specifically we are going pretty heavily on. So those are the moves that they kind of showcased. There's some at the end as well, but for the most part this is what we are going to talk about. So let me go back to this moment uh, here. Okay, there. So, the focus mode specifically, what it means is certain, if not all weapons, possibly all of the weapons will have a separate stance that you can go into. For the great sword here, it means that the character will flip the sword upside down like this, and now they have entered the stance. What we yet don't know is if the stance is something that we can only use after a certain gauge has filled. So there's like a actual meter that you need to use in order to enter this stance or if it's free to use all of the time. From the description of the focus mode, it seems like the purpose of it is, to, is for new players to get a handle of hunting. So my gut reaction is that we can always go into the focus mode stance. There's no limitation. But from the community, what people have been saying about this, there seems to be an overall notion that people would want this to be somewhat limited simply because of what it allows players to do. And we will see those actions later here. So once you have entered this stance, you're basically in the focus mode. And in this focus mode, you can see multiple things. So here in the se next section, we are in the focus mode. Now here we do not see any special wounds on the monster or anything. This is possibly because the character has not inflicted any moves or wounds, sorry. So what i'm talking about wounds uh, there is a specific section i believe it was in the blog post of this trailer i i can't re really remember but uh, apparently in the japanese translation uh, it was mentioned that you could inflict wounds on monsters via just attacking normally so if you attack the front paw of the monster multiple times normally eventually you would inflict a wound now that wound would be visible in the focus mode when you go into the focus mode you could see that that that's the area that people have been attacking a lot so it's wounded so i can attack that to cause bigger damage and that's actually the description of in the most on the website that these focus mode attacks are pretty powerful all right so once you're in the focus mode uh, you can do certain actions right so here we see that the, the monster is attacking us 
and the character decides to do an upswing, which is a triangle circle attack or Y and B attack on Xbox. Uh, not sure if it's what is it on PC, but regardless. So it acts as a counter in this situation because we went into a focus mode and we did an upswing, right? So it is definitely, as highlighted here, the character glows, which is hyper armor. So we are entering into a hyper armor state. So we can't get knocked off in this situation. So when the monster hits us and we hit back, it's an automatic counter, right? It's an automatic counter that happens. And this is why people are saying that hopefully the focus mode is somewhat limited, simply because if you're just able to always go into the focus mode and every weapon has this sort of a counter, then it becomes problematic when people start to spam this move, right? And when you're in multiplayer, if the monster is not targeting you, then the focus mode counter becomes kind of useless move to use ever. So you would have to kind of adjust, of course. But generally speaking, when you're playing solo, this seems awfully powerful, right? So, and then happens the follow-up move. Now, the follow-up move here is interesting. We don't yet know if the counter always causes this stagger animation to happen. That's uncertain, right? Because normally the way that counter moves like this work is that the monster can just continue attacking afterwards. You just kind of clip through the monster and you do your damage and the monster does his damage and you take kind of a cheap damage amount of uh, from your health but generally speaking the monster can continue from there uh, similar to how the switch access counter in most under sunbreak worked where you just press the button and it does the move you clip through the monster and things continue normally unless there's a stagger animation so here we don't really know if the stagger uh, threshold got hit so that's why probably the monster is reeling back but at the same time it could be that it's specific to the great swords counter attack so here we go and we get a follow-up move which is a cap closer basically the hunter runs in and does a side swing into a vertical slash now one of the aspects of the great sword is of course that you can charge attacks so here i'm uncertain if we can charge this first attack this seems like an automatic attack that happens always but the second attack that comes vertically i believe there might be a chance that you can actually charge it right so the vertical attack comes in and it hits it's either that you can charge it or they're just automatic two hit combo now how powerful that is it doesn't seem to be all that powerful it's like your normal side swing to up swing moves without any charges so not too powerful and yeah we can continue on from there uh, now here in the heavy bow gun we don't see too much so it's hard to say about the uh, focus mode really here but i do believe that this is just a focus mode move so the hunter goes straight into this focus mode move I'm not entirely sure how it's possible from a sheeted animation because the weapon is like on the back of the hunter here. Basically, he's taking it out. So it's hard to say how this functions. And it's really hard to say if this is a focus mode move either way. This seems like a focus mode move because of the uh, extra little barrel thing that's going on there. So it might just mean that heavy bow guns can go into focus mode pretty instantly from just even if they have the weapon uh, in the back so yeah uh, the interesting part here is that we have three of these large monsters <laughs> uh, it's gonna be interesting to hunt these things but as i said in the previous video i do believe that these are not actual large monsters these are like 
medium monsters that act in packs and in herds. So that's my take on this. All right, so big attack coming in here and the monster gets knocked back. Uh, nothing too fancy, really. I'm surprised the monster on the right side doesn't get affected by this, but maybe it's just a directional explosion. But again, we see that the monster is just flying away, like not like insane amount of if if you can just do that, it's kind of insane. Anyhow, ne next we get to focus on the actual wounding mechanic of the game. So here we see on the monster on its head, on its back thigh, uh, and maybe on the front shoulder as well. You can see these wounds have been afflicted. Now, the thing that's uncertain as of now is that if we can see these uh, these wounds outside of focus mode, because in the earlier sequences, as I showed, the wounds were not showing, and on like, and here we see that the hunter is clearly in the focus mode, right? So this move here that he does is a side swing, just a normal side swing of the great sword. But because he's in the uh, focus mode, it will target one of the wounded zones, right? It will almost magnetize to that zone. So that's why we get this little attachment and then drag, right? So it attaches to that zone and then it drags. So your side swing becomes this dragging motion attack instead of being a normal side swing. Now the interesting part here is that we do see the wounded being surrounded by the scout flies, right? And these apparently highlight that these are uh, zones that you can hit uh, big damage on, right? Now it's uncertain if it's the scout flies or if it's the wound wounds themselves, because as we go forward here and as the hit actually connects, the scout flies completely disappear, right? So the wounds are there, but the scout flies have disappeared. And as we go forward here, as the attack concludes and the hunter is out of the focus mode now, uh, there doesn't seem to be any wounds right now. There is one wound on the back leg there. You can see on the uh, leg that's behind the monster. There is a wound there, but the wounds on this side of the monster have disappeared. So what this indicates to me is that these focus mode moves act like a cash out attacks. So once you have a inflicted a wound, you can attack a specific part to do big damage on. And those wounds will, after, after that, the wounds will heal. And you've kind of exploited the zone and you have to repeat it again. So you have to cause a wound once more. So here you can see that the wounds on the uh, right leg has healed and stuff. But the very back left leg there is still just, it is active there. So it seems that is that these cash out moves that you do with the focus mode, as you can see on the right leg there, they heal the wounds afterwards. So what this means is that players are possibly forced to be using the focus mode quite a lot in order to dish out good damage on these wounded parts, right? Now. The uncertain part is that do normal attacks actually get the same benefit from these wounds? So even if you use normal attacks outside of the focus mode moves, do they still inflict big damage on these wounded parts? That is uncertain. What seems to be the case is that once you dish out the focus mode moves, these wounds will heal on the specific part that you attacked. So even if here we see that the right side seems to have two wounds, 
it seems to heal all of the wounds. So there's one wound on the front leg and one wound on the back leg, right? So both of those seem to fi uh, be fixed with this. So no longer on the front leg, no longer on the back leg, and even the head one seems to be out of the question right now. So only the left back leg wound seems to be active anymore. So it seems very specific on where you attack with the focus mode attacks. And yeah, it, it is going to be interesting to see how this affects normal moves. Um, one of the problems with most of the world's tenderizing uh, was just how it affects normal moves in general and how it forced players to kind of kept the wounding mechanic on constantly. So you had to keep wounding the monster. But at least in this case, the wounding is more, uh, let's say, realistic. And it requires the player to actually use the normal moves of a weapon in order to inflict a move instead of using a uh, added mechanic, so to speak. So it's a better version, but it's still questionable how it affects normal moves because if it is so that these focus mode moves are extremely powerful or even a little bit more powerful than normal moves then it becomes this aspect of oh well we'll just all attack with the focus mode constantly and it also turns it into this in multiplayer matches as well it turns it into this, okay, who has the most powerful punishing uh, focus mode move? And that person is going to use their focus mode. And the Sword and Shield user or the, let's say, the Dual Blades user will probably never use the focus mode moves because there's always going to be a great sword user that can dish out the most damage out of these. So that's going to be a big thing. My personal hope is that it doesn't matter if you use focus mode moves or normal moves against these wounds. It just means that you're able to target these specific parts more easily. But damage-wise, they're the same. I hope that's the case. So let's look at the last part here at the very end of the trailer where we see that the hunter is blocking an attack. So here we see the hunter is in the focus mode uh, here. So the focus mode is active and the hunter decides to card right here. So he puts up a card, which is just pressing R2 basically. And that causes the monster monster's attack to kind of or its charge attack to cause in or go into this uh, card animation right now there's two things that happen here first the monster attacks the card right it attacks with the right paw at the card and it follows up with a charge attack now people are saying that this might be like a quick time event that happens uh, for now it's hard to say how this is going to happen in gameplay i just think that this is a moment where the monster's ai goes oh you carded my attack i will do a charge attack if you keep holding your card during this animation you will go into the full block animation basically so if you just keep holding your card you will go into this almost always uh, of course it depends on what the monster's ai decides to do if it decides to do the charge attacks but if this is a quick time event where you have to press a button to keep it still or what it's hard to say i personally hope that it's more stamina related so when you do your focus modes card here it would go into this animation and sap your stamina pretty quickly and there's two things that you could do in this situation is either keep holding or two which would 
sap your stamina or you could press like x to dodge away from this charge attack so those are the two options that you could do in this situation so hopefully it's more along those lines you either keep holding r2 or maybe it's something like press this button multiple times so you can keep holding onto the card and if you fail that let's say your stamina runs out you're going to take damage but if you dodge out of the way pressing x then uh the monster is just able to get free like faster so there's two options that you can do you can either keep the monster still a little bit longer or you can just dodge out of the way i think that's more realistic way to approach it rather than a straight up uh, quick time event which is usually with mount mounting in monster for ultimate and in monster in general uh, mounting is something that's considered a kind of a quick time event right so you have certain things in that you can hold on to the monster and you can stab the monster so this could be something that is more linear where you have to only hold the monster and you can just dodge out of the way when you need to when your stamina is running out but we'll have to wait and see how this functions in the game because the way that this even this one looks is that if you are able to go to the focus mode stance and just do this whenever and just keep the monster still like this for a period of time then it's going to cause a little bit of a problem in the multiplayer aspect where people will just keep doing this or the counter and just keep the monster still so it'll be interesting to see how this function and it's also difficult to see here i don't think this is wound specific uh action so the monster doesn't seem to have any wounds on it when it does this because it's just guarding attack and there's no scout flies on the head either so it doesn't seem like a wound mechanic now i think people are attaching to this frame specifically when they see that there's some red on the monster but it's hard to say i i don't think this is a wound mechanic specifically i think it's just focus mode really so yeah those are my takes on this one uh it's going to be interesting for sure and there's nothing much else that i can say really about this mechanic i just hope that normal moves behave similarly in damage uh like differences so that people don't just use the focus mode constantly just to dish out more damage so yeah thank you everyone for watching and we will see you guys or i will see you guys on the next one so bye bye